local consumer advocates are raising the alarm about new vehicles being vulnerable to hackers. Automakers are even acknowledging the threat of cyber attacks on vehicles with an internet connection. Dan Cohen is here now with the new warning. Dan. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Megan. This is both eye-opening and scary. Now imagine this. You're driving down the road and your engine is killed or your car suddenly breaks. This isn't science fiction. We've already seen hackers do just that. And consumer experts fear much worse. I spoke to an auto industry insider about the dangers of Internet-connected cars. Think about when you put your kids in the back seat of that car and you're going down the highway at 65 miles per hour. You don't want hackers getting control of that. You can't see his face, and we've disguised his voice. This auto industry software developer sounding the alarm about the danger you could face when you buy your next new car. Cutting edge technology he's helping develop that connects your vehicle to the internet. But that technology, as we've seen in recent years, can be hacked. It's not fun to have your two-ton SUV's brakes hacked just as you're parking in front of a ditch. Okay, hold on tight. Hold on. Oh, you may remember this video from 2015 when Wired Magazine teamed up with a couple hackers to take over a 2014 Jeep Cherokee. They messed with the music, the AC, and windshield wipers. Perfect. I can't turn it down. The air conditioning is blasting, the music is blasting. Then they exposed a major flaw. Do it. Kill the engine. So we're killing the engine right now. It says park sense. Actually can't accelerate. Even stomping on the gas, this Jeep slowed to a crawl. Wired and the hackers say the intention was to alert Chrysler and to help find a fix, which Chrysler says it did. Our software developer has over 20 years' experience. I asked him about the Jeep hack. There were things that they weren't willing to demonstrate. For example, it uh, wouldn't be too hard to cause the airbags to blow. Uh, or disable them. And that's the fear, that hackers can break in to steal your personal information, steal your car, or even worse. A car is two tons of metal hurtling at breakneck speed down the freeway. You don't want hackers taking control of that. You only want the driver to be able to control that. Here's another instance from 2016. Chinese hackers on YouTube exposing flaws in a Tesla. In this video, hackers are able to remotely open the moonroof and move the driver's seat. They managed to open the trunk. <laughs> then watch as one of the men tells another 12 miles away, hit the brakes. Okay. Our connections can kill us. Literally. Jamie Court is the president of LA's Consumer Watchdog that just released a report outlining the dangers of connected cars. Right now, there are 50 million on the road, but starting in 2020, he expects 20 million more connected cars per year. We are now at the place where it's not just the danger of a car being hacked. It is a fleet of millions of cars being hacked at the same time during rush hour and causing mass destruction. The Consumer Watchdog report includes disclosures from Tesla, Chrysler, Ford, GM, and BMW admitting that hacks have occurred and that it's possible future hacks could occur. So the big question, what to do? Consumer advocates are pushing for a kill switch that lets the driver disconnect safety critical systems like the brakes, the engine, and the steering from the connected computer. Experts say the time to talk about this is now. It's a fairly simple thing to understand, but people just aren't talking about it. So if I had one piece of advice for people, think about this. Talk about it. <laughs> I reached out to the automakers I mentioned in my story. Still haven't heard back. Now, we should tell you, we haven't seen any reports of a driver getting killed or being seriously injured from being hacked. Consumer Watchdog is talking to elected leaders to make sure they're aware of the issues, and they say you should, too. This is frightening. Yeah. Everybody's at fear. So why would auto companies make your car essentially hackable? So that is the question, right? Now, so here's what it boils down to. This is what Consumer Watchdog told me. They said it comes down to money. So for liability purposes, say you were speeding and you're in an accident. An insurance company can say, oh, we saw that you were going 80 in a 65, right? There's way more to the story. And I should just tell everybody that we've linked the full report from Consumer Watchdog to our website, which is foxla.com. So there you go. Great piece. I know you've been working hard on this for a few